Here's one for you. An Italian, an Irishman, a Catholic, an American, a former drug addict, a Reformed Jew, a conservative Jew, an Orthodox Jew, an Israeli, a yeshiva student, a father of four, and a recovering alcoholic walk into a bar. And the bartender says, Hi, Israel. Sorry, I'm late, Gary. Excuse me, sorry. You don't know the day I've had already. And the night. Thank God there's only five days between Yom Kippur and Sukkot. <sighs> Thanks for ordering. Look, I've been Jewish for 18 years. Just because I was once non-Jewish and I do own power tools doesn't mean I want to build every sukkah in Jerusalem. Day and night I've been building sukkahs. I mean, some guy comes up to me at the breakfast and asks me, no, tells me I have to come over and build his sukkah that night so that he can go from mitzvah to mitzvah. I don't know where I got the permanent job of building temporary dwellings. I got this whole list. The Schwendelbaums. They have a pre-state sukkah. It's like wood they smuggled out of Poland in 1939. See, it's like 150 people. Ben Gorion ate there once. They still haven't stopped talking about it. Then I have the Abramo with Silverman's. They nailed down their schock. It can't be permanent, people. You can't nail it down, for Christ's sakes. Then it's not a sukkah. It's just a poorly constructed tool shed. Then I have the cat's ball schwangers. Shira, you know cats. She wants more shade than sun, which is correct. But Sherman, ball schwanger, her husband, he wants to be able to tan in his sukkah. Oof. I think he grew up reform. Osnat Safran, she wants running water. The finger hutzes. Hutzes. Hutzes? Hutzes. Hutzes. Anyway, Yossi wants bars on the windows. Gary, the walls are made of cloth. Tomorrow I've got Shmuley. Not from Shmuley's cafe, from Shmuley's vegetable stand, not here, the one in Rechavia. He won't pay for schach. 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 We have to scavenge the streets for schach. Schach. Tomorrow I have the Birkenstock Schnorrers who want one of their two and a half walls to be weight bearing so that it can hold up all the crappy decorations their kids made in God. And then there's the single guy Zev who I think just wants me to sit with him and look at the stars. I really gotta go. I'm just gonna finish this quick. And before you ask Gary, of course I'll help you build your sukkah.